Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today I have a follow-up on some news I reported back in July. In July, and this one totally sounds like, it's a trap, but no, it's not, it doesn't seem like it anyways, but it's Adobe joined the Blender Development Fund at the gold sponsor level. And that means they're, they're basically contributing money towards the development of Blender, but we actually have a bit of a follow-up onto that, as they've also contributed two plugins. And this is where it kind of makes sense for Adobe, a very close source commercial software company, to be supporting a 3D open source package, and that they have two products that integrate really well with Blender. And now we have two add-ons. The first one is the Substance 3D add-on for Blender. And we're going to take a look at it second. What this enables you to do is actually use Substance materials directly inside of Blender. And then the first one is the Mixamo add-on for Blender. And this one actually allows you to take Mixamo characters and create a very good rig out of them very, very easily. So we're going to take a look at both of these add-ons. Um, the first one uh, is a little bit trickier to download. You actually need to log in which is a little bit irritating so you got to sign in with your Adobe account if you don't already have one grab it from the pre-release section so if you haven't signed in or don't have an Adobe account you're not going to be able to download the substance integration however the second one it's just a simple zip download so there it is and I now have another copy of it uh, once you have both of them you're gonna want to grab them so you've got the zip file there and then the uh, Substance 3D there, those two right there are all you need in order to install them in Blender. Here we are in Blender. Let me just get rid of that guy. All right. Uh, so we're going to go here, go to Edit, and then Preferences. You go to Add-ons, Install, and locate those two zip files. Once done, you will now have one called Substance. Substance actually has another requirement. You have to go ahead and add the integration tools as well. There will be a link down here to download them if you don't already have them, and then you just basically point a file, grab the zip, and you are good to go. But do make sure you are installing the Substance 3D integration tools as well. Don't worry, you do not need to have Substance installed in addition. You just need to have that extra tool going on. The other one is available here as Mixamo like so. What this enables you to do is work with Mixamo Rig. So we're going to check that one out first. Um, let me just delete that. All right, so here we are. Uh, this is the Mixamo. So you're going to notice both of these add up uh, in the end panel over here, the tools panel. Press the end key in the 3D view to get them. So you'll see you have Mixamo and Substance 3D available here now. We'll start with the Mixamo one. In order to use this, you're going to need a Mixamo Rig. Now, there are a couple ways to go about getting this. The easiest way is from Mixamo.com. Uh, da -da -da. Uh, log in uh, and grab a model. Now, they give away a lot of their stuff for free in the past. The other nice thing is you can actually upload your own character, and then you just basically set a few points, and it'll create a control rig for you. So you do not need to have a model to work from, but I'm using one of their models. He's over here somewhere. It doesn't really matter. If you've got any work with them, otherwise just upload any 3D model in a T-pose, and you can define it using just a couple of control points. So what I'm going to go ahead is download this guy in T-pose form in FBX binary format, and done. So that's what you need. The first thing, uh, it takes a few seconds for them to prepare it, and then it will download. Uh, okay, it's taking longer to, it always works that way. When you're doing a demonstration, things go slower. All right, so 40 megabytes, let that come on down. So CH39 non-PBR, uh, almost here. Their download speeds could definitely be higher, but I shall live with it. Okay, so four seconds, three seconds, we should be good to go. So I'm gonna head on back over to Blender, do a file, import, that's an FBX. That is in my downloads folder, and that is this character right there. So let's import that guy in here and give it a second for textures to show up. Boom, we are done. All right, so using this new add-on, what you can do here, uh, you have two options. You can zero out the control rig, basically set it back to uh, default status. Not a bad way, so this deletes all the keys for every bone, uh, and all the rotations will be set to zero, zero, zero. So we'll go ahead and do that. You're going to notice opens them up a little bit like so. Next thing we're going to do is go ahead and grab the armature here, and finally, create a control rig. And you can say, do I want to control the IK for the legs and the arms? And do I want to apply animations? And I'll say, yeah, sure. And there you go. So that is what this first one does. It creates you uh, a control rig ready to go in Blender. It's actually a really nice rig. You're going to see you've got controllers for uh, rotating the legs and so on. So let's go here. We'll go into pose mode and I'll show you what I mean. So we've got this guy right here. We'll do a rotate on it. So there, there. Uh, we got this guy right here. We'll do a grab on it. And you see we got IK. And we got a little bit of things going on with this arm here. Like so, and then like I said, we've got some uh, control points for IK on the let. Ooh, that was really sensitive, so like so. So it's a really uh, quite well-defined rig. Uh, again, rotate, what, is this? what do I want, X? So you can do the uh, hip 
shake thing if you really wish. And that is what this does. Basically, it takes any control rig from a uh, Mixamo and turns it into this uh, very game ready uh, control rig over here. You got a couple of other options here. You can apply animations to the control rig or bake out the animations. And there's even a GLTF exporter. I'm not really 100% certain why that is there. And then we got a couple of control. Oh, no, no controls there. Uh, but that's it. That, that's how simple this one is. Basically, you take in a rig in Mixamo format. Uh, you pick it in the uh, animations, in the skeleton source here, and then it creates this, this very usable um, control rig ready for animation, like so. You can obviously paint out the weights, modify it. It is, at this point in time, a full-blown, blender-happy uh, rig, which is uh, very quite useful. So uh, if you are looking to create animations and you want to start somewhere, this is actually probably the fastest way you can rig right now. Probably even easier than Rigify. Basically just uh, take your 3D model and T-Pose, upload it to Mixmo, let them create a rig, download it back down, and then create your rig this way and you are good to go. So that is the first thing that we are looking at today. Now we just go ahead and uh, we'll get rid of this guy and we'll get rid of that guy. I don't know what I just did. All right, what I'll do is I'll just start a new scene, okay. And we'll start with the, our trusty box. Okay, so the next one is we're gonna show some substance integration, which is pretty nice. So first thing I'm gonna do is do a cube uh, projection on this. So we've got it unwrapped and let's go into cycles view. Uh, sorry, not cycles, um, EV view. All right, so there is our uh, shape to go from. And now we're gonna showcase the second add-on that they released. And this one's actually pretty sweet. What it allows you to use is substance uh, S bar files inside of Blender. So what we can do here is we can grab a couple of them this way. So this will open up uh, in their free uh, resources section. So you see here, you got a number of free ones available. Uh, so S is S bar or SS bar? Uh, it's the native format for substance material. So if you have substance, obviously you can create your own materials and integrate them this way, but there's a pretty huge library of these out there. So let's say, okay, rusted metal. We'll go ahead and grab that one. We'll download that. And let's go back one more and grab something different. Okay, Stonewall, and we'll download that one as well. So we got these two uh, SS bar or S no, SBSAR uh, files available to us. By the way, if you go to something like CC0 Textures, they often have SS bar, uh, SBSAR files available as well. So now we've gotten those two. So you can also go here to the 3D Ascent section of the substance if you're, I think you need to be subscribed to get those ones. All these ones are free, by the way. And then once you got them, basically come here to this link and it's gonna ask you where they are. So let's grab the stone wall, like so. And now what we've done, we've loaded in that SBSAR file and you use this button right here to apply it as a material. And you will see, boom, you can now have substance integration directly into Blender using SBAR files to do your to do your texture. Now you may notice this looks like crap. Well, that's because the default resolution is pretty awful, but what we can do, let's move it to 4K. And presto, eventually, presto. Come on, buddy, you can do it. There we go. And now it looks substantially better. And then if you want, you can switch here. So you've got control over how the things actually work. So you can see we've got uh, five tiling going on here. Let's move that up to a whole lot of tiles, 13. And let it, let it churn away for a minute here. And then there you see the new tiling. So you actually have control over the parameters of the, uh, uh, the, the uh, substance material that you are working from. You can control it. So I want to make this look a little bit wetter or a whole lot wetter. And you can do that here. So you still have to have substance um, to create new materials, but there is a ton of substance materials out on the web. So this opens up Blender to a huge swath of um, uh, materials and you've got control over how they actually work. And let's randomize this thing a little bit and get completely different results. Give it a second. And I th has it done yet? I don't know. I nope. There we go. So we got our new random result. If you don't like this guy, let's go ahead and get rid of it. We're going to download a different one. Now I have found it can be a little, um, little weird on, on changing materials here. So let me see if it'll actually work this time. So our iron is now picked. You're going to see we've got a lot less options for that particular one. And now again, I'm going to go and set this up to say 2k and let's apply this. And there you see now we have an iron rusted iron look in our scene. And again, uh, we can random and you get different results. So this is a really powerful tool. This opens you up to using Substance without having Substance Designer or Substance Painter installed on your machine in Blender. And once again, if I head on back here, so we've got a number of different free ones available uh, here. So there's 452 free ones available on the Adobe site. Let me just 
go here, cc0textures.com, and let's go find an asset. Uh, a lot of the times, not always, but a lot of the times, you're going to find the sbar file is actually available here. Substance, okay, I'll search, I'll filter for substance for that. So all of these ones here uh, can be used as well. So let's grab this god awful floor tile here. So you can see this is set up, created with substance. We can go ahead, we can download the uh, sbar file. So let's do that right now. Bum, 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 bum. So there we go, sbar. So it doesn't need to come from the Adobe site. There's all kinds of resources out there for this. So we just go here, load, uh, tiles, 13, sbar, and apply. There you go. And here you can see, again, you've got all kinds of control over things. So let's do that. Uh, and uh, we can change the background color to purple and so on. So you see, you get all of the power of substance. Again, it's unfortunate it always comes out at, I don't know, what is that, one quarter K or 256 pixel resolution. Uh, but you can easily come in and change it. And this gives you access to a huge swath of materials that are on the web, even if you don't have substance. So again, again uh, CC0 has a number of substance shapes, and there's a few other websites out there that provide SBAR files as well. And uh, this one's quite a bit bigger. Uh, you can get some really, really cool results as a result. So let's go here, results as a result. All right, that sounded a little weird. Uh, that's this guy right here. Let's bring that in and apply. Now, you can only have one applied, as far as I can tell. And I've also had it, again, glitch out. So um, where I've... I've uh, played around with substance materials on a shape and it just stopped taking them. Uh, that's not unknown to happen. And that may have just happened here or it may be big. I'm not really certain. So let's just delete that guy. Blasphemy, I know we just deleted the uh, default cube. I uh, will go ahead and add uh, an isosphere in here. Give it some more resolution. All right. And let's go ahead and come on. Okay, something is unhappy in the back. It may, you know what, it may have still been applying that material when I gave up on it. Uh, one thing to be aware of, that one thing, that integrator is actually uh, in the background. So, oh, I guess I need to also uh, edit mode, U, uh, let's do spherical. All right, so let's actually give this guy some UV mapping and apply. And there you go. There is the, the other material we just pulled down. Let's switch over here again to 1K resolution. Because again, the 256 pixel looks really bad. Unless you're creating a PlayStation style game. But there you go. Uh, you can do some really cool, cool stuff with this one. Now let's do like raise the height. And let's change the shape. And yeah, let's change our stone. Increase the normal. Add a lot of bright dirt. And increase the roughness. Okay, let's not increase the roughness. Actually, I'm not sure. I was playing around with every one of these settings. I'm not sure which one I ruined it with. Might have been that one. Might have been that one. Might have been that one. I don't know. Give it a second. See if it updates. Nah, I may have ruined it. Another thing to realize is you can, a lot of these things, unless you actually set the material up, you got no clue what they actually mean. So let's just randomize, see what we get. And wait, 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 wait. This one, I think, is actually churning away in the background, and I'm being very, very impatient. One of those things to be aware of, but uh, I do know that that program actually does run in the background outside of the substance integration tool. Um, so that is one of those things to be aware of. Uh, but otherwise, two really cool plugins. Mixamo uh, Control Rig plugin, basically bring in a Mixamo character, easily turn it into a very Blender-friendly rig. And Substance 3D integration, bring in um, the Substance Designer files and use them directly as materials inside of Blender, which is really quite cool. And by the way, you can actually go ahead and remove things out this way. But I may be at the point where I've messed this up to the point. There, there is some glitchiness. This is a 0.4 release or something. It is a pre-release version. Hopefully over time, it does get a little bit more stable. But I find sometimes you screw things up and it's easier just to basically uh, start to fresh. Let me start with an isosphere or UV sphere. Yeah, I'm churning away in the background. I wonder if it's actually going to show. Is it the substance tool spinning away on its own? Uh, is it blend? Is it under Blender? No, it's not really showing. So it's a, it's the tool inside of Blender that I'm making very unhappy. Uh, so grab the yeah yeah I've messed things up. So do be aware, it is a little bit on the glitchy side, uh, but uh, for what it is, it works incredibly well. So those are two uh, really cool tools released by Adobe for Blender. So maybe after all, it's not a trap. Or maybe it still is and they're just playing the long game, but they've made it, they've added two tools that do make Blender 
a lot better. And the fact that Mixamo is completely free somehow after all of these years still, um, yeah, uh, it's a very genuinely useful tool. Now, a professional animator is going to get much better results out than they would probably from the Mixamo library. Uh, but if you're a schmuck like me, you get such nice results from Mixamo with so little effort. And Substance is becoming like the tool generation, uh, the texture generation tool of choice for the world. And the fact that it's completely integrated into Blender, uh, obviously with a few bugs, that is pretty nice too. So let me know what you think. Comments down below. Talk to you all later. Do you think it's a trap? I'm wondering. All right, that's it. Goodbye.